So in the private groups that I have as part of WILD, where we have women who are constantly needing support, whether they are trauma mamas or they are uh, betrayed partners, and we have several thousand women in our support groups. One of the most common questions that pops up sometimes multiple times a day in our different groups is this one. How can I get the best filtering software to make sure my partner isn't watching porn again? How do I find ways to check his phone or his computer or his tablet to see if he's accessing sexually explicit material again? How can I find out what he's doing on his work computer, et cetera, et cetera? And I understand, I get it. I get that compulsive driving desire to know if he's telling you the truth, if he's lying again, if he's cheating again, if he's watching porn again or still. I get it. I understand that. I understand why you want to know. The thing is, if his behavior is still leaving you in the dark, if he still has passwords on his phone and his devices and you don't have open access to everything, if he's still living, Dr. Omar Manwala calls it an, an intentionally manipulated reality, where he's intentionally manipulating your reality, then the only antidote to that intentionally manipulated reality is for him to voluntarily be choosing what Dr. Manwala calls IAR, intentionally accurate authentic reality in super high doses. That means voluntarily letting you know everywhere he is and what he's doing. Voluntarily being transparent and kind and open. If he's repentant, if he's changed, if he's not doing those things anymore, he will be treating you in a way that relieves your anxiety and anguish. And yes, you need therapy and betrayal trauma coaching probably because you have work to do on your own healing for sure. But once you've started to understand the patterns and the signs that he's deceiving you, typically your intuition is spot on. You know, even if you don't know, you may not have proof, you may not have evidence, but you sense it, you know. So, my question for you is, if you're in a relationship with someone whose behavior intuitively is leaving you constantly wondering and you feel compelled to fact check, to double check, to search their devices, then you are not by any means living in a safe, truthful, healthy relationship. So why are you still there? It's not a marriage. It's not a partnership. He's not gonna change just because you keep searching his devices and confronting him with it. Why are you still there? Why are you still tormenting yourself. Trying to chase down the reality that keeps crushing you when his behavior is still indicating that you can't completely trust him, that you can't relax. Why are you still there? 